Good day everyone. For the past videos, we have tackled and discussed about the Fibonacci sequence. Today, we're going to discuss a new lesson which is connected to the Fibonacci sequence. Now given the Fibonacci sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, 233, and 377. Now what will happen if we divide the larger number to the smaller number? 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5. 5 divided by 3 is equal to 1.667. 8 divided by 5 is equal to 1.6. 13 divided by 8 is equal to 1.625. 21 divided by 13 is equal to 1.615 34 divided by 21 is equal to 1.619 55 divided by 34 is equal to 1.617 89 divided by 55 is equal to 1.618 144 divided by 89 is equal to 1.618 233 divided by 144 is equal to 1.618 377 divided by 233 is equal to 1.618 Did you observe something? As you can see, as we continue the process of dividing the larger number to the smaller ones as we, can, as we go bigger and bigger, we can see a pattern of a, of a consistent quotient, which is 1.618. Now this quotient, this 1.618, is now what we call the golden ratio. Now what is golden ratio? Golden ratio is a mathematical ratio that is commonly found in nature, designs, and even on us humans. So it fosters organic and natural looking compositions that are aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. So meaning, kung ato na siyang simplify, it means it is attractive or sa bisaya pa, hindi siya sakit sa matatanaon. Or in other terms, the object, the image, or the person looks perfect or near perfect. Okay? Now, golden ratio is also known as the following. We have golden section, golden mean, divine proportion, and the Greek letter phi or phi. Okay? So, golden ratio has been practiced long, long time ago. So, ang history and in golden ratio, before, before it was uh, commonly used on sculptures and paintings. So, ginapasikat ni siya sa atong mga famous nga, mga artist nga, which is until now ginailagyan po na to sila for their for their work na special. Okay? So, some of these examples are the pyramids of Giza. So, as you can see, uh, if you have a picture of the pyramids of Giza, you can say that the proportion or the ratio of the sides of the pyramid is almost perfect or near perfection. The Parthenon in Athens, the creation of Adam on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo, and lastly, the famous Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. So, makita na to, no? uh, the, the reason why nganong ang kining mga gihimo nila ng mga art those arts are still well known today because ang isa ka factor ana is they use the golden ratio so kung golden ratio gani gigamit nilang golden ratio 
if you are a person, if you look at something, or if, for example, you look at a portrait or an image or a painting. So if a painting is attractive, so na tendency nga mas dugay siya mawala sa sa brain or sa atua nga gatan na, di ba? Mas maritain siya sa atua. That's why as you can see, kani siya nga mga paintings nga gipanggamitan ng golden ratio until now nag gina appreciate ya po siya sa atuang new generations. Today we can see evidence of the influence of golden ratio everywhere. So it may be intentional or not. So wala ta kabalo mga uh, kanading nasa tong palibot na influence na day na siya by golden ratio. So let's try to see or to, to examine what are these images, what are these objects, what are these things that are influenced by golden ratio. So I will give you a few para na may idea kung unsan ni sila ng mga butang, mga images, mga pictures or anything na makita nato sa tupalibot that is affected by golden ratio. So examples. In connection with Fibonacci sequence, as you can see the petals of the flower, if you observe the ratio of each petal, it is near perfect or balanced. So, wala ka sila nagtinaginso na nai isa ka petal na gamay ka ayaw pag-abot sa pikas dito, di tapo na put siya. Or, ang spaces nila, wala na sila nagtinaginso or naglakang-lakang na sa first cake. Gamay lang kayang space, pag-abot-abot sa, pik sa pikas, kaya hindi kalit, huwag tapo. Or, napangag, or yun sa ba. Okay, that is a good example of the influence of golden ratio in our nature. The next example is the human face. So as you can see, we have uh, natay ginatawag karun o kaning head turner. Diba? Kasi sa mga, sa mga lalaki, pag nai, pag nai babae na malabay, makaingon dito nga. Head turner kaya ang iyang beauty. So, napoy uba na, okay lang, sakto lang. So, makita na to na naan na siya influence sa golden ratio because the proportion, diba makaingon tang tsada kayo balansi ang iyang noong, tsada kayo cut, diba? So, that is one way of the influence of the golden ratio. Also, in surgery, so as you notice, sa mga doctors, ang finished product anang ilang gi plastic surgery, wala gini, or less lang kayo makita nato na finished product na imbis nga ni Guapo, na pangit, di ba? As you can see, especially sa itong mga artista, mga celebrities, after, after sa ilang plastic surgery, Ang result kita na is a perfect face or a near perfect face. So, isa na siya sa example na gigamitan sa golden ratio. Another example where we can see influence of golden ratio is in photography. So, as you can notice, people have knowledge in photography and people who doesn't have knowledge in photography naging difference ang ilang finished product sa ilang picture. Okay, di ba? For example, ordinary people, mag-take a picture, mag-take a picture na tsada kayo ang, ang background. Ang ending, pag-post na po sa social media, dili siya inana ka tsada. Gamay ra kayo yung likes. Wala rin niya po to 10. Whereas, na isa ka person na na siya knowledge about photography, whether na kabaluman siya or not, na na-influence ito siya sa golden ratio, but na siya knowledge about photography, you can see na ang yung capture is pleasing to the eyes or attractive. So meaning, makita ninyo, mas dagan siya og likes, shares, na mas dagan ang naka-appreciate sa iya ang picture na kiti. So that is one way of uh, influence of golden ratio in photography. The next area where we can see the influence of the golden ratio is in designs, web designs, templates, book cover, designs, and even on calling cards. So, as you can see, kanang makita ninyo din na ang mga design, wala na siya kipamatakan, putang lang, ah, gusto na po nga, na ay kuwan kari, na ngayon. Diba? If mag-make out design sa imong template or sa imong website, imong ginaconsider na, wapo ni siya tanawol, kani, proper niya, placing niya din eh. So, wala takabalo nga, na-influence na dito siya sa golden ratio katong imong ibuhat na design. That is why it is pleasing to the eyes or attractive siya tanawol. And lastly, 
Siyempre, di ba, na, na-explain na nato a while ago, the one na gigamit sa itong mga ancestors, which is paintings. So, ngunit siya pinaka-famous kay before, most widely used ang um, golden ratio sa paintings. As a summary, we have discussed the golden ratio, which is equal to 1.618. Then the different terms of golden ratio, and lastly, the application of golden ratio or the influence of golden ratio in nature, human, and others.